this is a story about Harry McClary and Zachary Quack. It was drowsily warm with dozens of bees lazily buzzing through flowers and trees. Harry McClary decided to choose a space in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back when... Pittery, pattery, skittery, scattery, zip! Round the corner came Zachary Quack. Who wanted to frolic and fruit all and play. But Harry McClary skedaddled away. Over the lawn and asparagus bed went Harry McClary to hide in the shed. He lurked in the shadows, all dusty and black. But... Pittery, pattery, scattery, zip! Round the corner came Zachary Quack! Out of the garden and into the trees jumped Harry McClary with springs in his knees. He hid in the grass at the side of the track, but... Pittery, pattery, skittery, scattery, zip! Round the corner came Zachary Quack! Down to the river, through willow and reed, raced Harry McClary at double the speed. Into the water he flew with a smack, but... Pittery, pattery, skittery, scattery, zip! Round the corner came Zachary Quack, who dizzily dived in the craziest way, whirling and swirling in showers of spray. Harry McClary was off in a flash, a flurry of bubbles, a dog paddle splash. He swam to the side and floundered about. He tried and he tried, but he couldn't climb out. Scrabbling upwards and slithering back. When... Pittery, pattery, skittery, scattery, zip! Through the water came Zachary Quack, who sped round a corner and, showing the way, led Harry McClary up, up and away. He showed him a different way to get out. Then, soggy and shivering, back up the track went Harry McClary with Zachary Quack. It was drowsily warm with dozens of bees lazily buzzing through flowers and trees. Harry McClary decided to choose a place in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back. Tucked up together with Zachary Quack.